So in this lecture, we're continuing, right, to talk about um, Kindle Direct Publishing. And I tell you, it must have been maybe about five years ago, I wanted to find out how to, you know, write a book and publish a book. And Kindle really hadn't started, right, an ebook, And I tell you, it was so expensive. And that's why I love Amazon. I love this option because it allows people that, have something to write about, right? Have have something. Now, whether you want to make this a full-time income or just use your book as a, a marketing tool, I, I love Amazon, okay? So I'm going to show you my um, a, a, an example from mine, okay? So my book, Invest in Yourself. Again, these um, mini courses, as I like to say, are a part of this book series, right? And Anyway, so invest in yourself, right? And 13 simple steps to starting a business, making money, and creating wealth. So invest in yourself is the name of the book. And that's my keyword. And then the subtitle obviously has more keywords. Now, it's part of the One Hour Womanly Wealth Personal Finance Books series. And this book is series or, or volume five. Okay, so we continue on here. And this is the description, okay? So do you want to learn about investing in a business, but you don't have tons of money to invest? Okay, you're in luck. Now, for my description, I actually use HTML coding so that my title appears uh, large and, and whatnot. I can actually give you uh, information about HTML coding. Um, I'll just give you a link to a simple website that has everything and then I'll actually give you uh, just a checklist of what you can use for your description. Okay, so I'm writing that down right now so that I remember to give you the HTML info. Okay, a download. Okay, so let's continue. So the contributor is myself as the author. Now, if you've co-written a book with someone or you have editors, you want to include that in the book contributors. Now, I've, you know, read where, oh, in the book contributor, include more keywords or whatever. Honestly, I've done that. I've followed that advice and it really looks silly. And it kind of takes away from you as being the sole author. So I don't know. I, I, I like just having my name there as the author. Okay, and you know, if you've actually created a publisher uh, company and you've set up your Amazon account um, as a publishing company, you want to include that there and then have yourself as the author. Okay, so this is a public domain work. No, this is actually your own work. So this is not a public domain work and I hold the necessary publishing rights. So you want to check that. Now you want to target your book to customers. Okay, so these are the categories that you can choose. Okay, antiques and collectibles, architecture, okay, um, body, mind, spirit, business and economics, comics, computers, uh, cooking, crafts and hobbies, design, drama, education, family and relationships, fiction. Okay, so you just want to have a look at all of the different categories. Now, I like to include two categories. The first one you choose is your primary category. So because the womanly wealth all of the courses in Womanly Wealth have to relate to money, right? Personal finance, making money, saving money, investing money, you know, everything about money. I always, for all of the books in this series, the main category is always going to be business and economics, personal finance, and then investing, right? Because the title of the book is Invest in Yourself. So you want to choose categories that relate to you as an author, your area of expertise, as well as um, the keywords that you've created and what your book is about. And then I've chosen uh, the second category, self-help creativity, because in this book, you're going to actually learn how to create wealth, create your own business. Okay, so moving on, you don't have to choose age range. That's just if you've written a, a children's book and U.S. grade range. I, I don't even know what that is, so I can't even speak on it because I don't use it. And then you're allowed 
to use seven keywords, okay? So you want to use keywords that aren't long, okay? Even though I talk quite often about using long tail keywords, Amazon is not big on it, okay? They also recommend that you do not use any of the keywords that are found in the title and subtitle of your book. So I can't use invest in yourself, okay? I can't use uh, simple steps to creating a business, nothing like that. But what I've done is chosen keywords that relate to it. All right, so these are keywords that people uh, would be searching for. Now, if you're not familiar with keyword and market research or anything, I have other courses related to this topic in this series, and uh, that can be found at 90 Day Guru eLearning, okay, which is an, the, another company that I own. Okay. So this is, okay, so yes, I am ready to release my book. Now you can uh, upload your book and make it available for pre-orders, but you have to have your book ready to go in 90 days, all right? So making sure, and they also want um, a type of a draft, right? They want to know that your book is in draft, okay? So this is good, you know, especially if... Um, People are waiting for another series of book to come out. So, you know, this is series five. Well, maybe they're going to be waiting for series six or whatever. And if I've completed it, then I'm going to upload it. I'm going to send a message to my list. I'm going to say, hey, it, you know, get on the list. And when it comes available, you'll be the first one to have it. So that's an option for you. So the ebook that I've created, all I have to do is click on Browse for Image and then select it from my computer and then it uploads it, okay? And that's what the image looks like um, when it's a thumbnail, okay? So you've got to make sure that what you choose, it's clear. And again, we're going to look at that in the business project. But you want to make sure it's clear and when it is scaled down to a thumbnail size, it looks good. Okay, again, they've got cover guidelines there. I've never used the launch cover creator. Like, I've never used Amazon's cover creator because I like to have that done prior. And I often use my ebook cover to inspire me to write my book. So, you know, once I've got my title of my book, I'll create my e cover and then I just have that, you know, above my desk and it keeps me focused. And I know that I've got that there, it's done. In my mind, it's done, and I write it a lot quicker. Okay, so this is where you're gonna upload your book file. And again, you know, we just went through in the last lecture how to create that HTML file because that is what you're going to upload. Now, you've already done your edit check and your spell check, but they will do one for you. And if there are any spelling errors, they will tell you what they are and give you an opportunity to go back and make those changes and then upload your book again. So this is where you get to preview your book, and you should always preview your book, right? So this is what my book is going to look like on what device? On Fire. Fox, okay, so right up here, okay, in this section here, you can choose the device that uh, you want to see your book on. So yeah, invest in yourself, 13 simple steps, okay, and it's got all that information. Again, this is, like I said, where I put the copyright information, and I say, you know, the material is owned by Louise Ann Maurice Business Enterprises, Inc., and is used by Womanly Wealth Academy on Udemy.com. Okay, please note no portion of this book may be used, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this is where, as you can see, when I hold my cursor over my table of contents, because I've actually um, linked up, right, put the, the table of contents as a bookmark, like I said, people can just scoot through. So they've already read chapter one through five. They can just go and click through chapter six. Okay, and this... I use keyword rich titles in my table of contents, again, because Google will index that information if people are looking for it. Okay, and then I just start out really casual. You know, some of my book introductions are different. You know, some of them are more formal. Some of them are very casual. Okay, but it's just basically asking people questions. Okay. 
I have also a link to my LinkedIn profile because that way people can get to know me. So, you know, that look inside feature is great because it allows people to read, you know, sometimes the introduction and first chapter of your book, right? So all you have to do here is go back and click book details. Okay, so after you've checked out how your book is going to look, make sure that everything's lined up right and it looks good. You are ready to put in the pricing information. So it says save and continue. Okay, so, you know, I have worldwide rights, all territories, because this is, book is mine, okay, and it is uh, from a training program that I created, and I wrote the book, and, you know, everything's great, right? It's actually my, how I developed my business, and, you know, not knowing anything in 2009, it was like I had to go through a lot of steps and I just thought this is crazy right so I wrote out all of the steps and I simplified it and that's why I created this book and so then these courses are just offshoots of it and, and really get into you know the training of it all so it is my work okay not a problem so now okay KDP pricing support I, I just put my book at 299 okay so 299 is the list price okay 70% royalty, okay, because I only have my book on Amazon. Remember I talked about that um, when I was telling you about Smashwords, right? If I had my book on Smashwords, I could only choose the 35% royalty, all right? I wouldn't be able to uh, receive 70% royalty, okay? And it, it has it right here, okay? The 70% royalty option is only applicable for books sold to customers in certain countries as well. So that, you know, if, if someone's buying your book somewhere else, you're going to get a lower royalty. So the delivery cost is uh, three cents. And then the estimated royalty is $2 and seven American. Okay. And then it also shows you everything for all of the other countries. And then you have to click on Okay, by clicking and saving publish now, I confirm that all rights, blah, 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 and then you save and publish. I'm not going to do that because if I do that, then my book's going to take another 12 hours to become live again, and I haven't made any changes. But that's what you do. Now, isn't that easy? It is so easy to get your book on Amazon. And the nice thing is, if you want to change your cover, or if you want to add information to your book, or take some information out, it is that easy to just go change it, right? The lecture that I gave you in uh, the last lecture, just go make those changes. Again, save the HTML file, come back, upload it, save and publish, and you're good to go. Those changes take effect. Uh, somewhere between 12 to 24 hours, depending on where you're located. And that is Amazon Kindle. So I hope you are so excited, right? You've got your book, you got your cover, and now, you know, that is your activity um, for this section to go and get your book on Amazon.